everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I thought I would film a bookshelf tour for you. The reason for being is that this obviously holds a lot of my physical TBR, which is quite big, and all of these books have been purchased in 2022, and that's a fair amount of books to have purchased in one year. And so ideally, I would like to go on a bit of a low spend next year, cut down on the number of books I have, because you can see we do have some overspill here, and I have some overspill in the living room as well. So I want to cut my collection down so that it all fits on these shelves and then I can buy some more books. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that I will read and hopefully unhaul some books, get it to a manageable number, and then I'm allowed to buy some more. So I thought it would be good today to give you an idea of what my shelves are like now so that we can compare later in 2023. These shelves are from Amazon. I didn't actually buy them for books. I bought them as storage to go next to my work desk. So I work just here when I work from home. And so that's what they were for and they've just become bookshelves. I think they look very cute and aesthetic. I really like having them next to my work desk but they're not really meant for books in that you can see here these slats are quite big and so graphic novels if they're in the wrong place on the shelves do slip down I have some quite thin graphic novels in the living room which can't go on here because they will slip through so they're not totally ideal but I'm working with what I have <laughs> in terms of the sort of general aesthetics so I do have these lights that are on here which I to be honest don't put on that often but it's nice to have them on for this video and those are from Amazon and I have this plant as well it's a fake plant i have two real succulents but i am not the sort of person who can take care of real plants i don't do a massively great job of taking care of myself um so these this is from amazon as well but i think it looks really cute with the sort of general vibe of the shelves so i'm not going to go through every single book but i will do a sort of tour of what's going on but let's start with the top shelf first so this is not books because I figure it's nice and aesthetic to have different things up here. So I mostly have cards that are from either my boyfriend or my bestie Anna. Uh, these are kind of, you know, motivational or cute messages. I've got these blue flowers here are from the uh, Annick Garden. There's a gift shop at Annick Garden in Newcastle and they have these beautiful spoke like one of flowers which is so pretty that photo frame there is from my bestie emma for my birthday last year i think which has bell from beauty and the beast with loads of words that link to me which is very cute these flowers are from etsy i got those during the pandemic when i was working in the conservatory which is to my left to brighten up the space a little bit i've also got a yankee candle here i don't often like this, but it's there at the moment because it's quite big and so it kind of works there. This unicorn is from my mum. This was my word of the year in 2020 and I still think it's a good word for me. So I leave my word up there. That was from Etsy. Then you'll see I do have some Momiji dolls. So Momijis are little sort of message dolls. They have really cute sort of general things that they're favourites of and they're linked after particular things. So this is like a house one. I've got a few others. I really like having my Momijis here. I think they really add to the cuteness vibe of my shelves. The unfortunate thing is that Mimijis are quite top heavy and they are pretty wobbly. I could stick them down with blue tack now I'm thinking about this. So that would be good and I'll probably do that. But the unfortunately, when I knock my shelves, I often actually have my washing here because <laughs> that's the kind of life we lead. But uh, there you go. It's so easy to knock them over. And so I think all of them are broken now, <laughs> pretty much, which is really sad. But anyway, so that's my top shelf. So then we go down to the books. So first up, this shelf is predominantly graphic novels, but we do have a few other books. So let's start with the graphic novels. So I was aiming for a bit of rainbow, but I really like the Sad Ghost Club being next to Heartstopper, which are my main feature. I love having them as the sort of centerpiece of the shelves. And Sad Ghost Club is sort of equally tall. And so I think they look good next to each other. So then we kind of go into like lighter colour ones and then some darker ones and then red and yellow. So there's not too much of a kind of uh general rainbow here. It was sort of a bit, it's a bit of a <laughs> a bit of a random rainbow. I then have my kindness Mamiji here. She's one of my favourites. Then we move over to my two hardback middle grades, which are not on my middle grade and YA shelf as they didn't fit and didn't kind of look good. I then have Spy Family, which is the only mangas that I have. Mangas, I cannot say that word anymore as an English person. Then I have my murder mysteries 
and um, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because I haven't read it. I don't really know what category it comes into. I assume kind of contemporary fiction. I don't really have much contemporary fiction, so it's fine there. So that's my first shelf. Then if we go down to my second shelf, we start to get into my rainbow romance shelves. There is some books on here which some people might consider contemporary fiction, but they're kind of in the general romance category. I do have some videos up on my channel of me sorting these out. I am on the constant strive to fix the rainbow on these shelves. I figure I don't understand the rainbow, to be honest. They're, I really struggle to get them in an order that I think makes sense. So I'm constantly kind of redoing these, but it makes for good video content, so it's fine. So I do need to figure out what I'm going to do with these two because they're newer editions, so they're not on my shelves. And then this is my Bookopoly board. <laughs> so at the moment, it's just living there. So I do also have my Momijis here and they're also in the rainbow because I think it just looks so cute. So I love having them there. So I am really happy with the general aesthetics of these shelves. It's just figuring out I just need to read some of them, basically, is the, is the main thing. I've also just seen that I've got Loveless on this shelf, which really is a YA middle grade. So it's it's not a perfect science. It's not, but we try. So as I said, this is the second shelf of my Rainbow Romances, which I think is a worse rainbow than the one above it. These are all new books that I've purchased that don't have anywhere to live right now. <laughs> I have a mug. This is from Fairy Loot. This is a Daughter of the Moon Goddess mug. I absolutely love it. I haven't read the book yet, but I love it. And that's where I'm keeping my bookmarks. I absolutely love having my bookmarks there. It's so good to just be able to reach in and grab one. I've got this candle, which is from Etsy, which is a Stars Hollow mug. I'm not sure why that label didn't always used to be that way, uh, but I absolutely love Gilmore Girls. This candle smells, I said mug before, candle. This candle smells of coffee, as you would expect, being Gilmore Girls. And then I have another Mamiji there. Then we go down another shelf. We have my YA and middle grade shelf. Again, attempting a rainbow because I just love rainbow, but I have a disproportionate number of black books in this area. And so it's I don't totally love the aesthetic of this shelf, but it's like underneath my... I've never noticed that there's a table, a drawer in that table until right this second. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so this is not a perfect rainbow, obviously, but it's not too bad. And it's the YA and middle grades are just mixed up in there. I have some candles along here as well. I own quite a lot of candles and wax melts. So they're kind of there. These should be the other way around though. So we'll just sort that out while we're here. <laughs> and then the last shelf in this room is my foiled fantasies. Now, I know that's oddly specific, but they look aesthetically pleasing. So I have Babel and Daughter of the Moon Goddess book ending them, which I did in my most recent video. And then these are just foiled titles. They're not in series order. You can see that his dark materials is split up across the shelf. So I'm sure some people would be distressed at this, but it doesn't bother me. I'm more a fan of the rainbow than I am of anything else. So that is the shelves in this room. I will take you through to the living room and show you what we're working with in there. Before I do that, I do also have a stack of books here, which were from my festive TBR video, which are here for me to just grab as I read them. I have not made my way through this stack in nearly the speed that I convinced myself I could. So currently they're living there. And when I inevitably do not read them all by this season, they're going to have to fit back on those shelves where there is no room. So here in the living room, I have this small set of shelves and this was predominantly bought for my wax melts. I had three drawers of wax melts, which is obviously a lot. So I have cut down the number of wax melts that I have. And so now I use the top and bottom for books. So on the top here, we have Fairy Loot and Illumicrate books or other hardbacks. I do have more Fairy Loot and Illumicrate books, which are in their dust jackets, not on these shelves. So that is ultimately why I've decided to unsubscribe from Fairy Loot. And I mostly just skip Illumicrate because I'm not getting through these books fast enough to justify having that many books come into my life that quickly. So unfortunately they don't all fit on this shelf. I don't love the aesthetic of this shelf. I again tried for a rainbow and I don't think it looks perfect. So we go past the wax mouths and then we get down here. This is sort of other books. Um, mostly it's graphic novels. Laura Olympus 
are big and chunky and they didn't fit well on my other shelves and as I mentioned smaller graphic novels do fall through the slats on the shelves and so Fence and Giant Days and Lumberjacks etc are living here because they would fall off otherwise. These are Stuart's Star Wars graphic novels so these live here for now and then we have Book of Dust is living just next to this. <laughs> so that is the little shelf and then I'll just show you my sort of final piles. So to the side of that little unit is my fantasy pile. These are fantasy series that don't have foil covers or they are sort of other fantasy series where I either own the full thing or I own some of it or I own just the first one. They're just in a pile there for me to get to at some point and then next to it is my unhaul pile so these are either books I know I definitely want to unhaul or books where I'm kind of on the fence so they're off the shelves for now so those live there and the idea is that obviously I will get rid of some of those soon I need to film an unhaul video actually so I will do that at some point and then I can pass on some of those books I do also have a few bits on the top here which are just bits I got from Yalk so this for example is a like my mechanical romance origami which is very cool and we got sort of free books and journaling cards and that kind of thing so at the moment those are living there in addition to down here next to my wrapping paper there is a bit of kind of memorabilia from Yalk as well so as I said I do have some very Luton and Lumicrate books that are not on these shelves that are in their dust jackets but other than that that is my book collection and my physical TBR as well as the books I've read, but you know, there's more TBR here than read. So that is it for my bookshelves tour. So as I say, I am hoping to do a low spend on books next year. I do need to think a bit more about that and I'm hoping to do a kind of goals type video. So do keep an eye out for that if you'd like to see it. The idea being that I will buy less and read more of my TBR next year. So I hope that you've enjoyed having this tour and it'll be really nice for us to look back on this in 2023 to compare how my TBR is going. Thank you so much for watching. I will have links down below to my Goodreads, to my Instagram, which I share with my planning channel, which is where the other half of my Vlogmas content is. And I will also have a link to that channel as well if you do want to check out any of those videos. If you did enjoy this video, I would massively appreciate a like. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe and do comment down below. What do your bookshelves look like? Uh, how's your physical TBR going? I would love to hear about it. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.